is Jessie Thompson and I am going to be leading the Orchard Students Online Devotional this week. So this week I really wanted to focus on Psalms. So I've been reading Psalms throughout quarantine. That was just the book I chose and I started with and I love Psalms because it is so raw and emotional and just human. So I wanted to start off by reading Psalms 13 for you. So Psalms 13, this is the NIV translation. It says, how long Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death and my enemy will say I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. So I know quarantine has definitely not been the ideal situation that we've been put in. And for me personally, because we haven't been able to really go to church or have like a true worship service, it's been really tough on me emotionally and spiritually. It's been really, really tough on my faith. And for a while, I've been in a season of disconnection. So I haven't really felt super, you know, close to God. Um, I haven't really been hearing too many things, haven't felt super connected when I prayed. But in the past few days, I have started to feel connected because I have been more intentional about my time. So that's one thing I really wanted to talk about today. Something that God has been really putting on my heart is this phrase that says, use isolation to be intentional. So right now, as quarantine is starting to end and things are opening back up, we've all had a lot of time to think and do whatever you've been doing during quarantine. I don't know, watching Netflix, watching Dance Moms. I know I've been watching Dance Moms, but um, we've had a lot of time to just do whatever you wanted to do. And I haven't been super productive lately. And so that's something that's really been bothering me. And I haven't really been reading my Bible as much as I guess I should have. And I've been praying and just intentionally connecting with God as much as I should or as much as I would normally, like if we were under normal circumstances. But something that I've kind of been learning is that we need to use our time in isolation to really be intentional, to voluntarily choose to spend time with God so you can grow and further your relationship with him. Because when you intentionally choose that, when you intentionally decide to spend time with God, regardless of what's happening around you, if there's quarantine, if somebody's sick, what, regardless of what's going on around you, you choose to spend time with God, that's real faith and that's developing your faith. And that's so, so important. That's how you strengthen your faith and how you kind of get rid of disconnection, which is something that I've started to do. So the distance and the disconnection has been really hard for me, but God has kind of been whispering on my heart that disconnection and distance has a purpose. And just because God is distant, he's not necessarily far away. Normally he's right beside you the whole time. It's just hard to feel it sometimes, but there's always a purpose for distance. And I kind of think that one of those purposes is to remind you that we're not in control. We need God. He is a necessity. I think he doesn't cause our struggles, but he allows them to happen so that we will grow our faith and grow in our walk with God and so that we're reminded of how much we truly need him every single day. It's just a reminder of how small we are and just how much we should depend on him like he's a necessity. So yeah and I've also been learning that um the distance helps to quiet the worldly noise around us. I know right now there's a lot of noise. There's the news, there's social media, just everything that's happening. 
has been really distracting from me from God and that's been really hard to try to turn off the distractions but I think that distance and us realizing how much we really need God kind of helps to quiet that noise whether it's from the world or from your own mind it really just helps center us and align realign ourselves with God and his just his presence and his power and his love and it helps us to kind of realize that even in the storms even in the biggest storm God's still with us he still loves us the way he feels about us never changes it doesn't change day to day your value doesn't change regardless of your circumstances you are so special and so loved and so cared about and God wants to wrestle with us through this storm he wants to help you he wants to be by your side and hold you when you cry and make you feel happy when you're happy. He wants to be with you and support you and love you and you always are loved by him. He just wants you to depend on him and lean on him and I think the disconnection really has a way of making you lean on God in ways that you didn't before. That's something that I've really been learning and that I've really been just experiencing just how real and vast God's power is and his love is for us. It's been cool to kind of experience how God uses other people and uses you to influence other people and how they're feeling in their walk with God. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that. Um, so yeah, I hope that if you are feeling this way, that you reach out to someone and tell them about your problems, tell somebody, tell God. Just pray and just know that you're so loved and so special. All right, so I'll pray before I leave. All right, um, bow your heads and close your eyes. Do what you do when you pray. All right. Hey God, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving me this beautiful opportunity to speak your love and your power and just some um, words of wisdom to the people that are watching this video. I pray that you bless them and you help them remember that they're loved and they're cared for and they're special and that they're your son or your daughter. I hope you continue to just bless their lives and remind them that they're so cared for and that even in the disconnection, God's not gone. He's never you never abandon us, you love us, and that you're there through all the storms. You're just there and you love us so much. All right, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And yeah, I'll see you hopefully soon. Bye.